Mm-hmm. The Dusty Futon Podcast is a product of the Dusty Futon LLC and Dusty Futon Productions. Go to DustyFuton.com for more information. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Dusty Futon's Musicians Podcast. Reverb Nation has been an incredible source in helping us bring in new local musicians and give you their stories. This time we are blessed with some live acoustic performances by Oliver James and his entourage of talented musicians. Oliver James may be the namesake of this group, but he wants everyone to understand it's all-inclusive for everyone, including the fans, to be a part of this experience. And now we're going to share that experience with you. And, wow, one, two, three guitars. Said you had a thing or two to tell me I know you wouldn't let me I didn't realize As I looked in your eyes You told me Oh yes, you told me You don't want my loving anymore That's when it hurt me just can't go on anymore Please remember how I feel about you oh, oh, oh. <laughs> What the fuck? I'm sorry, get a rag Let the mayhem begin, fellas Out of control It's just that easy, right? Ooh, yeah Ooh. Alrighty Mike, you got me? All right. <laughs> That's one hell of a way to start an episode, I'll tell you that. Hey, hey, What's hey. up? We've never done that that way before. I like it. We've got Oliver James in studio. Indeed. Hello, fellas. And there's four of you guys and three acoustic guitars, all six strings, and a portable cajon mm. that you can wear on your back. And you don't have a microphone, but that's okay. We'll figure this out. So, all right. Um, welcome, guys, to the Dusty Futon. Thank you, thank you. Uh, it's great to be here. Evening. Thanks for having us. No problem. And you are Oliver. I'm Oliver. You are the inspiration behind the band, I guess, the name? I'm at least the namesake. Mm-hmm. At least the namesake. <laughs> I've got at least that going for me. Well, that's good. That's it's good. It's a start. You know, so it's a start. Gotta how long have you guys been together? Um, well, it's a, that's an interesting question. Well, that's why uh, I asked it. <laughs> I'm a, a fairly recent transplant from the East Coast. And um, we've been together for about a year or so out here. Okay. This is, uh, so uh, the, ba- the, the concept, the, the music has been around since 2011. And that's you. Right. And uh, a, a friend of mine, a, a writing partner of mine named Brett Levine, who's still East Coast bound. Okay. And uh, he shows up now and again and, and file shares with us for his contributions. But uh, this is the band. And uh, we've been doing this now for over a little over a year, I think. Nice. So these four pieces right here and that it would be... You want to introduce yourselves, fellas? John Cartmill, guitar jo- vocals. John mm-hmm. and... The co- the co- Hold on a second. Percussion. Rick Slinkard, drums. All right. Paul then, Backus on Paul. bass and guitar and some vocals. So now you're set up as a four-part acoustic gig right now, right here. But right. when I was listening and previewing some of your tracks, you're like all over the board right. in your styles and the instrumentation and what you guys do. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about more, like what is the... Vi- the vision of your band and your sound. Right. Um, I'm not asking you to put yourself in a genre because I don't want to. Yeah, do that. I know. And that, that's always uncomfortable. And you know what really bugs me is when I go, who do you sound like? And oh, oh yeah, right. Just, God, an yeah. awful question that is. Unless you actually sound like somebody, then there's yeah. not, not a point to right. say that. It's well, not a tribute band here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Support original rock and roll. Mm-hmm. Um, well, we're, we're certainly a rock and roll band. Uh, and I'm have the good fortune of, of playing with, with my cohorts here who are very accomplished at their own instruments. Paul is actually our bass player who is quite a fine acoustic guitar player as well. 
and John is obviously a guitar player, as am I. We're a, we're a loud electric band. Yes. And um, believe in, uh, in, in playing loud rock and roll, but with a, a, you know, a panoramic aspect to it. So when we record, and you'll hear on the, on the recorded versions of these tracks, you'll hear orchestration, and it's yeah. not synthesized. It's the real, the real deal. You'll hear uh, a gospel choir. You'll hear horns. And uh, I, I, you know, my philosophy about music is, is rich and dynamic and big and panoramic and technicolor yeah. and, and, and whatever the track calls for and not be limited to, as much as I love guitar, bass, and drums, I think that's, that's phenomenal too, and we do that as well. But I love the idea of, of bringing in outside sources to, to enhance the music. And um, on, you know, we've got, I guess, three singles and two full-length records. Um, those, those, all, each, each representation, each recorded um, offering that we have, uh, you'll find all kinds of things. You'll find banjo, you'll find mandolin, you'll find you know, all kinds of stuff. And trumpet, That's awesome. Trumpets. So you just put whatever you feel the song needs. Yeah, and, and I, I just, you know, I just really believe that... Um, that's important. It you is. Know. I've seen. I've seen bands. Uh, obviously, I've seen bands, but um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, but sometimes you see them as like a four piece or something, and then you see them again, and they have like horns and keys mm. and this and that, and it's like, wow, that like blows your doors off. It's like a lot, you know, right. and it's it, it's all super cool. I mean, I love watching everything, but man, I, it does yeah, make a diff. I agree. I think it's uh, it's sort of the variety, you know, and yeah. and, and I, I tell you, you know, the, this incarnation of us, which is the four of us here with acoustic guitars uh, just to give you just a quickie little background we uh we were preparing he wants to for give a, a show quickie, John. <laughs> i'm all about that <laughs> we were preparing for a show uh, a couple of weeks ago maybe it's been longer than that and we had the opportunity to uh rehearse at john's house and we thought rather than um uh, and bring all the you know half stacks in and, and get <laughs> blustery and, and loud. Let's just let's just bring some acoustic guitars and do it like that. And this light bulb went off, and we enjoyed it so much in this format and, and the way we we'd like to play a couple songs for you today that um, we pursued that. And we were in the process of of recording our our most recent song, which is called Swimming Horses, and. The idea of, uh, we were in the process of recording an electric version of that, but the, the acoustic version, uh, the Cerulean C version, if you will. <laughs> okay. Yeah, very hoity toity. <laughs> Pinkies uh, up, bitches. Okay. Come on, this is the dusty futon. <laughs> yeah, you know. I know. <laughs> you're, you're Cerulean means blue. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you can't just say blue C because everyone says blue C. But we ran back into is the studio so? at the 11th hour and added that version to the single. So we're, we're really excited about cool. this band doing that kind of that dimension. So when is that single yeah. coming out? It's just out. Um, okay. And we've got a copy here for you someplace. Thank you. We love us some swag. Nice. It's a little... Uh, <laughs> is it Syrian blue? So, yeah. I can Cili- do it. Cilian? Well, Cerulean. Cerulean. The, uh, the electric version is, is the first cut, but the Cerulean C version is the Beautiful. is the second cut, and we're, we're really excited about that. Nice. So you nice said this incarnation of the band. So you re- your recent transplant is yeah. some of your music that's out there already. Is that from you and a different group from the East Coast? It's it's Oliver James, um, primarily uh, myself and uh, our good friend Brett Levine uh, Keys. But uh, the rhythm section and the orchestration and the the gospel singers were studio musicians. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. And you've got, like you said, you've got a lot of different pieces. <laughs> one of the ones I, one of the tracks that I loved was Seven Billion Hearts, <laughs> actually. Seven billion with a seven B? Seven billion with yeah, a B. Yeah, Seven mm-hmm. Billion Hearts. And yeah. the thing that struck me hearts. initially about that is that's about <laughs> the number <laughs> of people on this world. Right? Their hearts are black, usually. <laughs> Two conversations again. <laughs> he's not one mic'd serious up and one not. I'm sorry, right? and he's not mic'd up. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. Yeah. so this yeah. is 7 Billion Hearts. Now, what album is that off of? This is off of uh, What Have We Learned, which is uh, our second record. Uh, came out in 2016. Okay. And we're, we I like that song, too. All right, so this is 7 Billion Hearts by Oliver James. I love it. It's like Christmas. <laughs> right? But don't you hear that heartbeat? It's coming. Do you hear it? Yeah. Time begins for 
the horns yep <laughs> yeah right i've got a big band background so i love horns yeah me too Baseline. You can tap your foot to this. Oh, I am, yeah. yeah. Me too. Oh, yeah. Nice. I think everybody is. <laughs> yep, all the feet are tapping in the room. <laughs> it's amazing out there. Now, that is a very full song. Yeah. I com- that is- now, that was, you said it was 2016, so yeah. the guys in the room here weren't on that band. That's correct. Uh, in that uh, formation, but you guys all play it, obviously, because John's over there just yeah. strumming away. <laughs> yeah, this is a big part of our show. We, uh, you know, it's it's got that. It's like a call to action song, yeah, yeah. almost like yeah. an anthemic kind of vibe, where yeah. it's like you you getting everybody together, getting everybody to feel, and and everyone everyone's heart beating at the same time. That's exactly right. And you know, we're, we're talking about how this song comes up, you know. You want to write for this theme, or you want to write for this person, or you got an idea, or you want a message, and this is a song for all of us. You know, yeah. that's that's what yeah. it. You know, there's you know seven billion people, seven, this seven is, billion. I'm hearts. not writing for you or for you. It's for seven billion of us. So, and, where did that that inspiration to do that song come from? Um, I'm accused on occasion of of. Uh, uh, embracing the darker side of life. I mean, a lot. If you listen to, if you get into the lyric of, of a lot of these songs, uh, it, you'll 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 see a theme of the dark side of life. Yeah. And I uh, said, you know, you know, let's let's go let's go optimistic. Let's let's you know, the glass is half full for this song, mm-hmm. and let's let's. Uh, it's amazing out there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, you know, I, I it like... It can be if you're looking for it. If you're looking for it. Yeah. That's exactly right. And there's all these stars. It's amazing out there. If you'll just open your eyes yeah. and allow it to happen. As you say in the song, looking out by looking in. Looking out by looking in. Yeah, that's actually uh, kind of a psychological concept in and of itself. And kind of looking into yourself to see the bigger picture, mm-hmm. even though you may not see it because you're not looking for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I I mean, just, your eyes have to be open. It's, right? Yeah, it's still interesting that you say like most of your songs are a little bit darker because it, I mean that's putting your feelings and your guts out yeah. on the table, right. you know, for everyone to to share with everybody. It's not yeah. easy. 
for it, most people, you know. I think you're absolutely right. I think you're absolutely right. And you know, it's some part of it is being encouraged. Part of it is is is, is having the, you know, the, the the desire or just the 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 ability to look up instead of yeah. Looking. Well, and you're not the only one that feels that way. Right. Like I told my kids, like you know, um, God, I totally just lost what I was going to say. Well, that's okay. I'll take it from here. <laughs> now okay so how long have you been playing uh, guitar or involved in instruments and music at all oh geez i mean i, I count it in decades now which is kind of uh, spooky you know? two yeah two decades yeah decade <laughs> yeah, no, this, it's been when there's an s on the end you're just like oh fuck yeah it. so <laughs> it's been kind of a lifelong quest yeah and you know like a lot of folks i'm sure my contemporaries here who uh who were attracted to the Beatles and the Stones. Uh-huh. And some of us were attracted to the Kinks. Oh, um, yay. Yeah. Guilty. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I set up Tinker Toy mic stands and, and played baseball bats and thought my parents had no idea that I was doing this. And they're like, yeah, we knew about the baseball bats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I begged my folks for a guitar. And um, they finally acquiesced under the, under the agreement that I would take lessons. And... Uh, Started playing. I think the first time I played in front of people, uh, I was probably twelve or thirteen. So I've been I've been at this for a long time. Nice. And you're you're using twenty dollar words that oh, you know, <laughs> kind of like them. something I normally do on the show. So it's nice to have a, a fellow art type. Right. You know, right? I um, caught I caught that too. By the yeah. way, I just didn't want to interrupt. Just didn't want to take I'm sitting here going, "Are you college educated? <laughs> <laughs> you must be." Hmm. Um, so, do you have any formal education with music? Uh, well, we were just talking about that. You know, the, the short answer is no. Okay. Um, I've done some stuff. I it was we were sitting outside waiting for our uh, our show to start with you. Your gracious host. Uh, <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. I was telling the story how uh, a friend of mine and I, living in New York City, um, he said, "You know what? We're going to go to Juilliard and take guitar class." And I'm like, well, "Wow, man! These I got what, what? What can they teach me? Right? Like, I've been playing for a decade. Uh-huh. And yeah. What can these punks teach me about guitar?" And so uh, we got on the subway. We paid our, our tuition. And it was like a Tuesday night thing, and, and we blow in, you know, walking like this. Right, and, and you're all that, right? You remember that show, Fame? I do. You remember that? Vaguely, like, it was yes. like that was there's cool. art and performance and acting and music everywhere. Yeah. You walk in the doors of Juilliard, and it's, like it's constant. And I sit down in, in the class, and this guy sort of had a green mohawk, the, the, it was <laughs> classical guitar. And this guy, you know, he's got mom on one hand and dad on the other hand tattooed. And they sit down and, and these 20 true artist, you know. or 30 19-year-old kids just burning the fretboard on the guitar. And it just kicked our ass. And here we are thinking that we were, we were tough stuff. So I, I've done some stuff. Um, but that's really the not, not my it story. gives you influence. No, that's really it helps. Cool, though. It's inspiring, yeah. too, because, you know, yeah. it, it kind of gives you kind of a perspective, too. I guess, yeah. like, you know. Yeah, you get a whole different perspective on different styles of music that are out there, especially if you're, you know, if you're, um, I guess, self-taught, like as a, as the kids call it now, YouTube taught. Um, yes. You, you basically, you miss out on a few things. You really do. Because yeah. even though you may learn music how to perfect theory. what's in front of you, there's still so much out there when it comes to music and, and different in, input and, and where you can find mm-hmm your your sources from so where do you find your inspiration for writing your music um i read a lot uh i observe a lot i think i'm a, an observational writer okay um, uh, most of my material uh i wouldn't certainly not all but most of my material is in my observation of of humankind mm-hmm. and uh and circumstance and oh, do you collaborate with your boys your yeah. band members and yeah. you guys all kind yeah, of we, yeah we, so i'm I talking mean, one-on-one on lyri- with you and everyone else the lyri- holding but you, are you mostly lyrics um, melody yeah, or, you know, you know? I, I, I don't have the ego that that makes me have any particular piece of a piece of work, and Got and, it. and uh, the band here and I co-wrote uh, the recent song, and um, right on. It just you know whatever the best idea is, the one that gets to be the idea. I can I, dig I, it I mean, for sure. I know that there are some bands that are like you know listen, and I've been in those bands. Where <laughs> the singer's yeah. like, I write the words. Yeah, I'm not moved by what you're doing, and yeah, and it's just I don't think that's uh, yeah. really a healthy situation to be in. Well, it might not always be the best decision too when you listen to the songs. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. I want to just follow up on something you said, Big Please. John. Um, yeah. The YouTube 
phenomenon. And you know, I mean, the, the internet's great and everything, but the, there are certain limitations. But we work uh, at Pacific Beat Recorders, which is in San Diego. Nice. Do you know Alan? Yeah, Alan's our producer. Ah, uh, he's a good guy. He's a wonderful. I believe guy. he just was brought up on the last episode. Is he? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes Julie. Yeah. Uses yep. them. Well, he tells this great story. He uh, he has this you know young guy came in to uh, to record some tracks, and uh, he sits down and he's got his his keyboard or whatever it was. And he's like, you know, well, I love he's it. He's laying it down and. <laughs> And Alan says, yeah, yeah, I'm feeling that, I'm feeling that. Mm-hmm. Um, he goes, listen, uh, on your vocal, I'm going to need to tune that up a little bit. Because, you know, I'm just going to sing my song, like that. And Alan says, yeah, we can probably doctor that a little bit. We'll put it through the auto-tuner and, and, and mm-hmm. correct it for you. And he says, what key is it in? Because the, the melody needs to know so we can assign the notes. And the right. kid says, you ready for this? It's in A hashtag minor. <laughs> Oh my God! And Ellen says, "What the what? <laughs> wait, wait, no, no, no. What key is it in?" He goes, "Yeah, yeah. It's A hashtag minor." He goes, "Oh, you, you mean A A sharp minor?" <laughs> so, I mean, that's that's the downside of learning all your stuff off the intro webs. Yeah, especially like I remember. I was just remarking with a friend of mine. Uh, I, I want to say a couple of days ago how sometimes you want to look at these hashtags and you want to make sure and not use what, like, you may have used the word pound. Right, right. You know, because sometimes... I remember when it was a pound. So. Hashtag and whatever it is, and then you change it to pound. It's really funny. If you go through and look at some Twitter things and you read the hashtag, read it out loud, hashtag blank, instead say pound blank. Right. It's almost like a... Oh. It's almost like a that's what she said type of thing. It's really kind of funny. It kind of does a twist on it. <laughs> Just a little bit. Now, I see three guitars and a Me cajon. Too. I want to hear these guys. I yeah. was just about live to and in person. Yeah. So, what do you guys want to play for us? Well, um, can we can we do uh, swimming horses since it's second. brand new and fresh? Please for us? do whatever. So, uh, just by way of introduction, um, and and staying with the. By the way, but, real quick, I want to say thank you for bringing your instruments because we get a couple. Occasionally, we get yeah, some nice performances in live. But you guys brought. Like three guitars and a cajon, so I'm very uh, elated. I, the cajon? That oh, we get uh, this. the cajon. Yeah. That's pound cajon. Pound, pound cajon. <laughs> Look it up. Yeah. You're all good. That's where I was going. <laughs> <laughs> and that, I'm going to let you take it from there. <laughs> so we've got this uh, new single, and, and, and we, like I said, we're working on this record, and uh, records take a long time. But uh, we finished this song relatively quickly. And we were so excited about it that we decided to release it straight away. So <laughs> that's what uh, it's uh, it's available on all the usual outlets, and, and we have the CD there for you, which hopefully you'll. Thank is that you. what have we learned? That's the no. This is just a single. This is from the forthcoming record called. Okay. Uh, we don't even know what the record's going to be called, but that's a long title. <laughs> and we don't even it's know called, what the record's going to no be called. Idea. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Or it Thank could you. be no yeah. freaking idea. We don't know what right. it's called or no freaking idea. It could be one of those. That's a, that's a good name. I like it. No freaking idea. I think everyone would relate to that because most of us don't have any freaking idea. Right. On occasion. No. Sometimes that's the best way to start. Not having any clue what you're doing. Right. Got to But you know, so you, you hear stories about um, about the writing process and my, you know, the, the famous story. It's not my favorite story, but the famous story about satisfaction by the Rolling Stones and mm-hmm. it came to Keith in a dream and he <laughs> rolled over and hit record and he went man man nah, 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 that sounds like nah, Keith nah, right <laughs> yeah right and really? then he went back to sleep and he'd forgotten that he'd actually written that thing <laughs> like it came to him like it entered his brain mm-hmm. and the next day you know he had the makings of one of the most classic songs ever now that's not really what happens <laughs> to most of us mortals mm-hmm. no um, but this song sort of spilled out of us I would say in shorter order than, than a lot of songs do. And what's this one called? This again? is called "Swimming Horses," and it's a mm-hmm. it's a it's a it's a plea to accept external help if you need it. That's okay. Fantastic. And the metaphor is: if you need to get from here to there, over land, over sea, uh, and I think that that horses are, are perhaps the most majestic of all of our creatures. But if you had a swimming horse, you could get from here to there, regardless of what was in your way. Huh. And if you just accept, it's a nice simile. The assistance yeah. of of a swimming horse, 
And so that's what this is about. It's, uh, it's about living your freaking life and getting off your butt and getting to the dusty futon. Into, hey. Oh, nice. Hey. See how I did that? Yes. Ah. Segway. Thank you, Pound sign, dusty futon. <laughs> <laughs> Pound sign. <laughs> Pound dusty futon. Oh, fabulous. That sounds great. Yeah. That sounds great. <laughs>
Thank you. Holy, I I'm blown away. Like just the Thank being you. in the Thank presence you. of such incredibly. Gifted musicians, you guys have obviously been honing your craft for quite some time. Well, thank you very much. Like it just came with ease. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank it's you. When did you? Thank you. When did you write that song? Was that uh, May, uh, March, April, something like that? <laughs> one of those. May, March, April. You know, one of those months. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think it was March. It was March, wasn't it? Oh, it's pretty fresh, it eh? Recently, yeah, yeah, it's pretty. I mean, that's you know, it's we wanted to perform it for you because it's the one we're most yes. excited about. How often do you guys like get together and practice and and, and write and work together? Yeah, um, we're usually together at least once a week. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, we we're we did a number of uh, dates at the fair. Which oh, cool. we were, we're oh. really excited about. They're so fun. And they they're are they're super fun. fun because, you know, the funnel cake kicks ass. <laughs> <laughs> what was it they had? What it's was the crazy bad. food this year that they had? Some type of... Uh, I don't know, but... Um, there was some weird deep fried thing, which... Deep fried, deep deep fried butter. Is what it That's was. what oh it was. My deep God. Deep fried sticks of butter. Oh, oh my, my God. I bet that God. was insanely yeah. delish. It's, uh, it's usually yeah. bacon wrapped as well. So. Yeah, yeah. Then they throw that in. Yeah. Yeah. You can't go wrong. It bacon wrapped Jack Daniel churros once. <laughs> yeah, they do. Oh, yeah, no, it was yeah. gnarly. That's the, that's the trifecta. Of that me. was insanity. I mean, wow. But anyway, yeah, no, playing the fair is a, is a lot of fun. Yeah. And, and that really, that's one of those venues that I love because it, it, it's easy to get in there for the most part because you can't expect to get paid unless you're like some big ticket item. But they pretty much give you a free stage to perform to anybody who's willing to stop by and hear your shit. Yeah. So it gives you part of my language. Oh, but it's a good it live gives, performance video because yeah. you're rocking your socks off. And, and yeah. it gives yeah. you the ability to play together. There's no question. And, uh, you know, the, the, the folks that we worked with, you know, in terms of support and things were fantastic. And yeah, they were in, a, were in a really smooth ship they over there. They treated us really well. It's really nice. And, it's a uh, pleasure, actually. You know, you know, you go into those things hoping that there'll be some glue, you know. Yeah. And, you know, some people come in and go, oh, this is awful, and they <laughs> bolt. But for the most part, I mean, we had some folks dancing and screaming and, and cool. yelling, and, yeah. and uh, it was very gratifying. What stages were you guys on? Did you play a couple of different ones? Yeah. In, uh, Plaza. Plaza. The O'Brien Plaza stage. And Plaza, okay. Yeah. Nice. You don't Go have ahead. a microphone in front of your mouth, so we couldn't hear you. <laughs> we'll just repeat everything you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Pete and repeat. Here we go. That's the drummer. Okay, so let's let's get the names again of the band members. Yeah, um, yeah. we got them at the beginning. I'm Paul Backus. Paul, Paul Backus on bass guitar and acoustic guitar. Now you play. You actually, he's the you played the bass line on your acoustic guitar for that last track. Yeah, yeah. And John Cartmill. John, uh, you're the lead guitarist. Correct. So that was you plucking. No, oh, that was beautiful man nice. you like jumped into those lines really really freely and easily fluidly yeah fluidly it was there you go. Fluid. and then the the drummer uh, rick slinkard rick slinkard <laughs> rick slinkard <on laughs> can you slide you just rick grab that, that 58 right there in in front of paul's microphone or, yeah just grab that really quick i want to get you to tell me a little bit about your your percussion history so how okay. well this is a uh, schleckworks um wearable cajon <laughs> and it's really nice because you don't look like a frog when you play it. <laughs> <laughs> it's got bonuses everywhere. Now, do you, you play know? that? Do you play that on your chest? No, or? you just wear it around your belt. Okay, chest. That's like a yeah. mama's got a squeeze box. What? Yeah, no, cool. like you yeah. know. Yes, good reference. Nice. Spicy. Yeah. <laughs> Good reference. You're you know, can, you can move around with it if you want. Dead nice. Just, yeah. Run it down. Oh, yeah, same. Sitting down. So it's very yeah, so you can well. like literally get up and walk around and look like you're wearing, what, what is that? It's a bit like a it's kilt. Accordion. Yeah, it's like a kilt, but yeah, it's like you got a kilt hanging there and you're just like banging on your junk. All, but nothing on the way. back, so no. it's a problem. Yeah, <laughs> so oh. you got to wear underwear. You know, it's like <laughs> ass, assless chaps. When everyone says assless chaps, they're all fucking assless, okay? They're chaps. Thank you for that. You're welcome. That was just is a, that one of the seven words you can't say? Yeah. I guess OCC or whatever that is. What is it? RCC, OCC. We don't. Care. So that's your newest single. Now you have released yeah. that. That is out. It's, okay. Um, it's I can see it from here. It's um, yeah. And you know you know what I'm really thrilled. There's there's a there's a breed of horse that uh, out of the Cayman Islands that uh, actually does swim, and you'll see the cool photographs really? of them. Yeah. That's that, real. That's, that's real. Oh. And there's a if you open that up. You can just stick okay. your oh, razor yes. blade fingernail through there and uh, <laughs> the pinky, you know, back in the day. <laughs> back in the day, <laughs> I'll use a pen. Yeah, so I happen to have one on me. Um, a parental advisory? No, okay. <sighs> just kidding. Put that that picture. Oh, wow. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? That's 
That is a beautiful picture. Isn't that cool? You got to get this album, the horse? single, just to get that. Yeah, that's, uh, we're really proud of that way the art uh, finished. But we, there's, a, there's a photographer that's based out of, out of uh, Cayman Islands that, that specializes oh, in yeah. that stuff. Like, you know, this is a really well beautiful. put together uh, single packaging because you, you have the lyrics over here too so people can sing along and, and learn. Mm-hmm. And then all the, your uh, shout outs over here. Right. So, yeah. and that's where, Alan, where can people. Of Alan's head. Oh. <laughs> and then there's the back of Alan's head. Where can people pick up your CD? Uh, it's it's on Amazon. It's on CD Baby. It's uh, I mean, if you like the physical, I, I still you know I'm a physical I, guy. I, yeah, I don't, I don't, not a guy, but I, I understand. But the uh, <laughs> you're still a physical person. It streams no, at all the places like Spotify and Very Google cool. Play and Amazon and iTunes, iTunes. If you're an iTunes person, I don't like you know. I I just I just I just I, revealing my age. I just for the days where you, you you looked at the artwork and you looked at the lyric. That was the best. You know you what's got funny? To see everything like what are these guys? What doing? happens is you become a hashtag minor because <laughs> right? or a pound sign, pound <laughs> something or other. Well, you just get you get um, you get swallowed by the sea of of that because mm-hmm. there are still plenty of people, plenty of musicians out there who are working to actually be musicians and not just YouTube a hashtag minor stars. Yes, right. <laughs> You know, I like that. That's gonna <laughs> yeah, yeah. hang on to that one. Yeah, that's yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal that one and hold it for a while. Oh hang goodness. on to that one. There yeah, it's um, so um, a pound minor. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. He went there. He went you're there. Gonna, you're gonna have the police at your door if you're not careful. There. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> maybe, maybe it would. I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah. Well, you know, we we work with uh, with a company called Powderfinger Promotions on. Uh, on our radio promotion side, so you know, we really, uh, for an independent act, an independent band, right. um, doing what what we really think is important to 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 promote ourselves and to come on shows like yours and and uh, have the the good fortune of playing music with you and but anybody can make a CD, yeah. But then what do you do? And, yeah, uh, you know, so. We go after uh, you know independent radio stations. We go after internet radio stations. We go after whoever we can. But we use Powderfinger. I just want to throw that out there um, to get our music heard, and that that works really well. For Powderfinger. Us. Powderfinger. An- another place you use is the ha- the place that we found you at, which is Reverb Nation. Yeah. Big yes. shout out to Reverb Nation yes. for Thank you. they actually found us, which was really cool. Uh, one of the directors. Uh, came across the podcast and reached out to us and said, hey, can we get you some of our artists? And I said, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, hello. <laughs> so, yeah. thanks yeah, to pretty, them. Fr- pretty cool. Yeah, that's thank, really, thanks. really exciting. It was. Yeah. It was incredibly exciting. And then when I got to see the caliber of artists I get to pick from, it's like, oh my God. Yeah. The, well, well, it's, thank you. it's amazing what's Super out there excited. that people just don't know about. Yeah, and it's because you have, like you said, you're looking for independent radio, and how hard is it to find that that don't exist anymore? Yeah, the 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 pool right. of that is like it's, eh, it's microscopic. Right. No. It's and really so everyone's difficult. shooting for that same yeah. target. And yeah, it gets really crowded in there. Exactly. But, you know, Reverb Nation has been uh, has been fantastic to us. You know, we're 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 number one in San Diego for this genre of music right now. Awesome. Which is which is very fulfilling to us. I mean, we started. I mean, you know, uh, I, I guess we opened the Reverb Nation account in. 13 maybe yeah. and we were literally like 160 or 162 so to to climb all the way up to literally the number one position That's a pretty um, big climb is really and exciting for us what genre do they pitch you in in um, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. we are we are americana rock and reflective, reflective. oh really yeah i could see that yeah so we you know we reflect you and do just, we need a little powder. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. What was it's that? It's kind of warm. What, my what, what, you, that look, you were looking at me like, huh. Oh, because... Um, that was an aha moment almost. Yeah. The genre thing, you know. Yeah. It's so difficult to like... I hate you, it. you have to say God. something, you know. You know? It, it sucks. The reason, the reason it's still in existence is just simply because humans need something to categorize. We have to put people in categorizations to make something black or white. Right. Uh, but it's that's for the can, masses. It can be difficult when you're banned and you have like you're you're eclectic and you play all kinds of. You know. But that's why you just listed three genres. Right. Places <laughs> like Reverb Nation right. give you that opportunity right. to to throw that down. To give you depth rather than just say, "Oh yeah, I'm rock." Right. Oh yeah, I'm country. Right. Oh yeah, I'm hip hop. 
You know, you could say, oh, yeah, like you just said, you're reflective. <laughs> yeah, I thought, right. I, wow, I, I right. don't know. I haven't heard that one. Though. Uh, no, I so where can people find where you're going to be performing next? So oliverjamesmusic.com okay. is our central hub. And your uh, social media stuff is Oliver, your Twitter is Oliver James MU or MUS? I think it's, I think it's music. Okay. We're not big on Twitter. We have an account there, but we don't do a lot of work there. Uh, we do, okay. we do Facebook and Reverb Nation, and, and it's all Oliver James Music. Oliver James Music dot com. Mm-hmm. Instagram? No. No. You don't no. look like Instagrammers. No. Do you I have mean, your own YouTube yeah. channel? We do. Where you we teach do. people how to do uh, play in hash hashtag, <laughs> hashtag dot or pound yeah. a whatever a pound G-string? minor. I don't yeah. know. G-string. <laughs> I would point out though that g string dot net. Yeah. We have. Uh, Don't go there, by the way. Do not go to gstring.com <laughs> right. or .net. It's FCC that we're not regulated. It, I know, but I just, I, it, it just the light bulb. It went oh. right off. <laughs> no FCC. No. The FCC don't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> our uh, Please our uh, <laughs> yeah. record company, our, our record label, uh, and there are five or six artists on uh, Wire and Wood Recordings Limited, but that's awesome. who we record for. Is cool. uh, has a YouTube channel. Wire and Wood LTD and, and our video for The More You Love, The More You Live is on there. We're really proud of that, too. Okay. That's, your hit, that's your hit single that's from your most recent yeah. al- full-length album. Yeah. And that was a single before that record came out, too. There's uh, two really great versions. And that's a, a song that we're also very proud of. And, and, a good uh, song. Now, I lost now my what? Now okay. what? That's so, what he wanted to say. <laughs> so it was a hit single. Now, what, how yeah. do you classify it as a hit single? So... Um, there are a couple of things that, that I, I lean on when, when I... Because I'm very proud of the way that song performed. And um, um, it, it received 75,000 internet spins. And we have a spins tracking organization that lets us know. They, they have a way of... of uh, there's a calculus that they use to, to uh, obtain the spin charts for internet radio. So 75,000 is a pretty big number. And for the, for the month of... I think it was... October of November of, of 2016, it was the number one song on internet radio. No so um, do you guys keep your calendar on your website to where people yeah. can find you? And um, let's see. So you have... Or do you have dates, like concert dates and things where you're playing around? Yes, we do. Nice. Yes, we do. Do you have a date for your album, the full length? The date is 2018. Okay. Yeah. So I'd like to narrow it down for you. I just uh, <laughs> I'd like for you to as well, but I'll we'll keep you posted. We'll, we'll, we'll certainly no. <laughs> we'll certainly hand deliver one for you when it when it's when it's available. Yeah. Really excited about what's what's. I would say, gosh, you know, when I when I when I get my nose down there on the grindstone, I'd say we're about two thirds of the way done. Okay, that's nice. And then that's all the good. players in the room yeah. are on that album. That's right. So that's exciting. That's good. That's very exciting. Cool. All right, well, let's go ahead and get into your former hit song, the one that was number one for almost two months yeah. on internet radio. Yeah. Now, yeah. this uh, what what album? This is off of the album, What Have We Learned? That's correct. And the song is called The More You Love, The More You Live by Oliver James. like that anthemic feeling I could tell right yeah. right yeah totally nailed it there's nothing like a good sing-along right uh-huh. you know the words yeah oh, 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 oh. right you already got it yeah it's right. easy everybody <laughs> <laughs> it's an all play Oh, you should see Big John right now. I tried to catch a fallen star. And carved a wishing stone. I ran across a bridge too far. And kept crawling back to see you there. Empty wishes scarred the ground. They're everywhere.
Violin there, some strings. Nice, right? It would be Oliver James style to have it be an actual violinist. Exactly. All right. Exactly. Now you're feeling it, right? Yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. it. Authentic. Authentic. Not that fake stuff. What is it? Artistic purity, I believe, is what you call it. I like it. Squeeze too tight, slips through your hands. What's left in hand, you've got to give. The more you love, the more you live. Smash the glass and sing. Spin it round and round. Does it really Perfect. Now here we go. It's like an Ellen Ooh. Rigby thing going on there. A little breakdown, right? Oh, love violin. I like the re- the removed vocals yeah. pushed in the background. Mm-hmm. You go right back into it. Smack in the right? face. Everyone's got their lighters going. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, now they put them on their phones. On their phones. And they just, yeah. The phone, know, lighter. the phone lighter. The phone lighter. Right? You feeling it? <laughs> Kim's got it. I need a tambourine. I'd really fucked it up, though. So. There, there it is. <laughs> Thank you, Big John. Well, you know, I am a drummer. <laughs> so we hear him. <laughs> Never heard him play the drums. It's on YouTube, I swear. <laughs> we just can't find the channel. Right, bring it to the essence. That was beautiful, man. Thanks, Thanks man. man. Now the harmonies. Uh, when you guys were performing live, I noticed Paul was doing a lot of the harmonies yeah. with you. John, did you do a little bit? Okay. Now on the albums, <laughs> did they are, force you to do it, or did you do it because you wanted? To it's do it. it's all you. It's all me. <laughs> yeah. So even it, even with the new album, is it all you doing your own harmonies? No. And in fact, uh, you know, the band sings on 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 the rec- the new record, the nice. new uh, single, um, but. Uh, BB before band, it was all me. Nice. Yeah. Well, you, you did. It, everything sounds amazing, and I really love the live performance. That was so, so awesome. It Thank was you guys. Awesome. Thank that you. Was so yeah. killer. Um, another thing I noticed is that at least two of you guys have a Taylor guitar. Oh, we love Taylor guitars. Now, John, are you from San Diego? Yes, I am. So you know and love Taylor guitars oh, probably your whole life. Absolutely. Now yeah, I gotta ask got you, there? Oliver. Did, oh, go ahead. Well, I know I know my husband's a big fan of the eight fourteen. Yeah, He's got the nine fifteen. I have the nine fifteen. This is the nine series, oh, nice. which has got a little extra doodad on it. Yeah, five sixteen. Beautiful. Five now, sixteen. Oliver, did you have you always played Taylor? Because you're from the East Coast. Um, in fact, um, if if I might bore you with a, a little you, tale, you can bore Please me do. as much as you want. I spent um, I spent uh, some time cutting my teeth in a David Bowie tribute band ooh, and I played the the the, uh, the role of Mick Ronson who's another one of my guitar heroes and uh, the guitar player in the band I was like man you know there's a lot I've always got a ton of acoustic stuff going on I said well I will handle electric and acoustic you just handle the, the electric part 
and uh, I was going to go off and buy a Takamini. This is 1994. Oh. And I said, yeah, I got my eye on this Takamini. And the other guitar player says, uh, uh, you know, you really need to check out Taylor. Because I think once you play a Taylor, uh, you're not going to want to touch that crap. Yeah. And so uh, I went down to uh, the local music shop and sort of A-B'd them, which is technical speak for mm. I, didn't, I did not know. I, you learn something new every day, kids, here on the Dusty Kids song. And the Taylor kicks butt. And, and, and I still have that Taylor. And the Taylor is all over. That 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 is a six series, yeah. Uh, my other Taylor, and it's all over. As this this is, you know, in the catalog, a, a nicer guitar, but the six, the much more uh, uh, price friendly version yeah. of this guitar, projects better, stays in tune better, the intonation's better, and so that's the guitar that I usually record with is that other Taylor. That's awesome, and you know they're just so different too because it's like you know mm-hmm. I hear the same the same make and stuff, but it could just be so different with yeah. the wood or the aging. Yeah, I don't know what right. it is, but have you toured the facilities you... yet? Yeah, we were just talking about oh, that. Oh, really? As well. Waiting to come in. God, yeah, it's, it's so it's awesome. awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's almost like too much to take. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to go yeah. seriously. You have to go back multiple times just so yeah. you can get as many coasters as you want. <laughs> yeah, that's what we were to talking about. <laughs> Shut so the, the sound hole here, they cut out, you yeah. know, out of the yeah. piece of wood, and, and that piece of circular coasters. wood becomes free coasters. Yeah, they hand them to you after you do the walkthrough. They, you yeah. can get like four or five. You can get a whole set of them. You need you a whole want. set. Right. Now, Which Paul, cool. I have what teenagers. Are you I thought over that was there? like just keeping your book bag in front of your trunk. Uh, this you know, is when you're walking through. I got at Costco. <laughs> oh, okay. Years ago. It's a nice. Yeah. Yeah. It looks, it it looks like it's a Costco. Piece. Shiny. It oh. Sounds good. Okay. Well, then you sound good playing it. Thank you. Now you normally, obviously, don't play that, right? No, I usually play a bass. Yeah. So what do you play on a bass? Uh, it's, I think it's uh, Ibanez. I have an Ibanez. Sounds, sound something, I don't know. It's sounds amazing. It's an color, Ibanez. <laughs> it's, yeah, it do you have an, is it? <laughs> it's a beautiful guitar. Well, you know, Taylor actually makes basses. They do. So might want to look into that, and then you guys can get a sponsorship. The, uh, Taylor it could be the Taylor okay. Five. Be all tailored <laughs> out. The Taylor Five. <laughs> and have four members. Oliver <laughs> Yeah. Add one, you know. Well, this has been awesome. Like, I'm very excited that I got to see you guys play live here in the studio here, yeah, and I can't wait to see you guys live out uh, out and about town somewhere. Um, so, so, thank check. you guys again so much for coming down. Hey, you know, we so appreciate yes. what you're doing, <laughs> and we appreciate the fact that that we had an opportunity to hang and and play some music and talk. It's really uh, it's really great. It's really been our honor to be here. So it we're has. very very. Can you believe it's already been an hour? Time no, flies when you're having fun. Thank I know. You. That's what I love Thank about it. When it goes this quickly, it's like, oh my God. <laughs> we have to yeah. leave now? <laughs> yeah. like, I know, right? We just sat down. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> kind of works out that way when it's going good, right? Oh, yeah, it does. Nice. Right. Well, All right. We Thank wish you, you uh, continued success. We look forward to hearing uh, the finished product. Yeah, I'll, well, I'll look forward to sharing it with you. Mm-hmm. It'll be it'll be a good one. This will be a good one, I can tell. Yeah. Cool. All right. Thank you guys again so much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Oliver James. Thank, Thank you very in the much. House. Appreciate it. Totally. Thank you to all the members of Oliver James for coming out and taking a seat on the Dusty Futon and to Reverb Nation for connecting us with these extremely talented musicians. Big thank you to Spicy Kim of Wicked Tone Entertainment for being the executive producer and co-host for this episode. I'm Big John, your host, engineer, editor, and producer of this production of the Dusty Futon LLC. Thank you for tuning in, and please don't forget to subscribe and share it to your friends so they can subscribe as well, so all of you can get the newest episodes as they come out. You can find out how to subscribe on www.dustyfuton.com. If you love what we are doing here and want to support our cause like Rick and our other supporters, please consider going to patreon.com slash the Dusty Futon and pledging to support for as little as $1 a month. We have some cool videos on helping you learn how to edit and some interesting behind the scenes things as well as pictures, all sorts of cool stuff. So head on over there and check it out at patreon.com slash the Dusty Futon. That's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash the Dusty Futon. Thank you again for taking the time to listen to this episode of the Dusty Futon Musicians Podcast. I know, I, know. I, I tell you, it, it, truth you know. be told, I, I, I hit the drop down menu and it was like, hmm. It's kind of. <laughs> what am I like, going to go with here? Yeah. <laughs> like, it is a head scratcher at times, it is right? A little weird. Yeah. I, mean, I tell you, you know, the, uh, 
uh, we distribute our music through CD Baby, which is another great organization mm-hmm. for independent artists. And we've had they're a little hands off for my my taste. Yeah, but yeah, but they're still I mean, uh, they send yeah. me a freaking email every day that my shit's not straight, and I'm yeah. like, what? Yeah, what more? I've been on the phone with you for hours. My husband's been on the phone with you for hours, and it's like, right. That's and the only frustration I have. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's, it's you, you got to get in there and, and deal with it. But the, the thing that bugs me about them is when when you put a new piece of music out, uh, they want you to describe it, you know, a little headline, then they want you to give the, the big descriptive, but then they want three acts that you want to be linked to, and that just makes oh. me nuts. It's like, well, there's Engelbert Humperdinck, <laughs> you know, there's you know, Jerry who Vale. Who doesn't love Engelbert? I mean, right? really. And there's, Sammy Davis Jr. How does that sound? You know? Okay, I got a. That's not a maraschino cherry in my eye. <laughs> oh, oh, Ooh. no more calls. We have a winner. That's why I keep her around. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> my favorite Sammy Davis was uh, he did the uh, Manischewitz commercials. You remember Manischewitz, yeah. Sacramento wine, and uh, he was not off the top of my mano, head. Mano, mano. Oh yes, Manischewitz. <laughs> <laughs> too cool for us to go. <laughs> he was pretty cool. <laughs> Even with glass eye. Yeah. yeah. Uh-